mynews.studio. Imagine this, one injection that keeps HIV under control for a whole year. Could this be a pivotal moment in the fight against AIDS? Today's date is June 11, 2025. Let's get started. HIV still impacts over 38 million people around the world. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, has changed the disease from a death sentence to something people can manage. But there are still big challenges. Daily medication, the risk of resistance, and the virus coming back if treatment stops. Why is it still such a widespread global problem? Daily medication is a significant barrier, especially in countries with fewer resources. Access isn't always steady, and taking a pill every day can lead to stigma. This year, though, we're seeing major shifts. For example, long-acting therapies like lenacapavir now allow for just two injections a year instead of daily pills. In clinical trials, 96% of people had their virus suppressed at 26 weeks. What does that mean for everyday life? It means fewer trips to the clinic, a lower risk of missing doses, and probably less stigma. If you're not carrying pills or having to explain medication daily, that changes things. But is this just about treating HIV, or does it impact prevention too? It's both. Linacapavir isn't only for treatment, it's also being studied for prevention. PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis, could move from daily or monthly pills to just one shot a year. For people at higher risk, especially where taking pills daily isn't easy, that's a significant change. Early results suggest a single injection could provide protection for up to a year. That could really lower the number of new infections. But I'm curious about something more experimental. These broadly neutralizing antibodies, or BNADs. How are they different? ENABs are a new type of therapy. Unlike standard drugs that just suppress HIV, these antibodies target a wider range of strains. In early trials, about 20% of people who got BNABs and stopped ART stayed undetectable for at least 84 days. So we're starting to talk about remission, or maybe a functional cure, but only some people responded that way. Do we know why? Researchers think it's linked to genetic differences in the virus. Some strains can hide more effectively. That's where new studies are focusing, trying to flush out the hidden virus, what scientists call shock and kill. If we figure out which viral patterns make HIV harder to eliminate, could we design more effective cures? That's exactly the aim. It's not just a scientific challenge, though. There's a global effort to make sure these advances are accessible, not just for people in wealthy countries. That means building international partnerships, scaling up production, and working toward lower prices. There are still obstacles. Clinical trials take time, and regulations can slow things down. How are organizations dealing with that? They're organizing large international trials and trying to streamline regulatory processes. That means encouraging countries to coordinate on approvals so treatments reach people faster. But it's also about funding, manufacturing capacity, and political momentum. Do you think we're seeing enough collaboration? We're seeing more collaboration now than before. Governments, companies, and advocacy groups are working together in ways they haven't in the past. The focus is on avoiding old mistakes, like slow or unequal distribution, and making sure new HIV treatments reach those who need them most as soon as possible. So, to sum up, long-acting medications and BNABs could change not just how people live with HIV, but even how we think about the epidemic. But there's still plenty to do, especially to ensure everyone has access. That's right. The advances are real. But the story isn't finished. Whether global cooperation and innovation can finally end HIV, that's the pressing question for 2025. We've talked about long-acting treatments, prevention breakthroughs, antibody therapies, and the push for global access. Things are moving quickly, but equity and persistence remain essential. Thanks for listening as we explored the latest changes in HIV treatment and prevention. Thank you for joining us. This episode was brought to you by mynews.studio. Give it a try for free.